This video is going to be a quick one, but I'm going to show you how to completely revolutionize your Confluence experience. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video, and don't forget to check out the links down in the description down below, as you can find my merch store, my paid courses, and of course, my different sponsors for my videos, so you can help support the channel. All right, let's jump into this really, really cool new feature that is slowly rolling out to a Confluence near you, but trust me when I tell you, you're going to want to enable this functionality. So if you've been using Confluence for some time, you'll notice that Confluence looks a little hard to see, is what I'll call it. And that is, Confluence has a very, very bright white background. And if you're like me and you kind of prefer dark mode, then you're going to want to pay attention to the rest of this video because I'm going to show you how to finally and I do mean finally, enable dark mode and Confluence. It is something that Atlassian is now finally supporting. And if you haven't enabled dark mode and Confluence, you're gonna wanna drop what you're doing and go enable dark mode because your eyes are gonna thank you. So let me show you how easy it is to do this configuration. Today's tutorial is brought to you by the DevOps tool specialist at Release Team. Successful DevOps requires a balance of people, processes, and tools. Release Team's experts can help you succeed at every step along that journey. Our expert staff will work with you to understand your unique needs, explore your options, and deliver a solution tailored to your objectives and culture. Visit releaseteam.com today to see how we can help you realize your DevOps goals. Now this configuration is on a person by person basis. So this is not like a global setting. This is something that each individual in your team is going to have to go and enable. So make sure you share this video with everybody that you know, so that they too can save their eyes and enable dark mode inside of Confluence. So let me show you how easy this is. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to obviously get into Confluence, right? Most of the time you land in Jira and this time we're going to be in Confluence. So you're going to want to go into the right tool and you're going to click on your icon up here. Now this icon should be whatever it is for you, right? It should be your initials or your picture or whatever you have set up here. And so you click on that. And if you look down, you're going to see that there should be a theme section here. Now keep in mind that this is in beta. So that means that not everybody has it just yet, but it is functionality that is slowly being rolled out. And so be a little patient, but hopefully fingers crossed it is enabled for you because if it is, then all you got to do is click on theme and you're going to notice that you have light, which is what everybody usually has. You're going to have dark or you're going to have match your browser. So if you have that kind of environment where if it's day outside, it's white light mode. And if it's dark outside, it's dark mode, then that's up to you. But I typically like to just leave my environments in dark mode. So all you got to do is click this dark mode. And voila, Confluence will no longer be killing your eyes because trust me, folks, there's no worse feeling in the world than logging into Confluence at five o'clock in the morning and the first thing that hits you is just this bright light coming right at your face from Confluence. So finally, uh, this is a really, really cool feature here. I've been testing it out for a few weeks now and everything seems to be working pretty well. I think the create button, everything here is appropriately adjusted. I know that when dark mode came to Jira, there were a couple of things here and there that were just not working out pretty well. But as you can see, they've done a really good job at contrasting the colors. They've done a really good job at making sure that it's really well supported across the board. We can go down to our macros. So our menus are looking beautiful. Our pop-ups are looking beautiful. And so if it's available for you, I highly recommend you test it out and you give it a whirl because trust me when I tell you, your eyes are going to thank you. So all the different menu options here, this right here, this banner is because I have a third party plugin. And so I'll be talking with the vendor here to see if they're going to be supporting dark mode, because keep in mind that while this dark mode works really well, some of the other third party plugins. So like this was my HubSpot search. I got Gliffy over here. They might not be supporting dark mode just yet. So as this is still in beta, I would expect this to support to get better and better over time. But all the native, all the raw, just out of the box functionality of Confluence, as far as I've been testing, it looks really good. The quick start, everything's just like phenomenal. Again, vendors, if you're a vendor and you're, you put out a Confluence plugin, just a service public announcement, a little PSA, dark mode is here. So it's time to start supporting it. I really like these contrasts and these colors, right? So I like how they did this start, stop and keep doing. 
if we switch over to light mode, I wanted to show you what this looks like, right? So it's, it's a little bit more on the pastel colors, but I, I think at last year I nailed it here with doing these very nice contrasting, almost like some sort of chrome color looking things. So really, really happy there. But anyways, that's basically Confluence dark mode. And again, if you've been struggling, your eyes have been basically complaining because Confluence is just so, so bright and so light. Like finally, I'm so glad it's here. A little funny story. I was actually talking with one of the Atlassian employees not too long ago, and I noticed that their confluence was in dark mode. And like immediately, knee jerk reaction was like, "Whoa, why does your confluence look like that?" She's like, "What are you talking about? Doesn't everybody's look like this?" And I'm like, "No, nobody has dark mode." And so as they were testing it internally, um, they were doing these sneak peeks for for people. And so I'm just so happy that it's finally available because trust me, 5 a.m. is just the time that I'm usually recording these videos or using Confluence for the first time in my day. That bright light just hits you like a brick in the face. And so now having this dark mode, my eyes are going to be way, way happier. Want to learn about DevOps? Maybe you want to help a friend, relative, or supervisor better understand what DevOps is. Read DevOps Overture. What you need to know when starting a DevOps journey. The book recommended for anyone looking to get a firm understanding of DevOps principles. Software is everywhere. DevOps makes software better. Here's where you start. Go to www.releaseteam.com slash DevOps book to get your copy now. So anyways, that's it. Again, make sure you share this video with everybody you know, and also make sure you check out my Jira dark mode video, which has done really, really well. So if you didn't know, both Jira and Confluence now support dark mode. So thank you Atlassian for making this a reality. Um, let's just put it on all the products because dark mode should be everywhere in my opinion. I think dark mode is probably one of the most underrated amazing features that any product can have. So if you are again struggling and uh, you've been wishing that this thing was in dark mode, it is finally here. Let me know in the comments section down below. Is it enabled in your Confluence instance? I'm kind of curious to see how Atlassian rolls these out. I don't have a lot of insight into that. So let me know in the comment section if you enabled it. Let me know if it's not available. In any other case, I just want to know. So use that comment section down below. And that's it for this video. If you did find this video valuable, again, first and foremost, don't forget to share it with all your colleagues, your teammates, your bosses, everybody that you know is struggling with this non hashtag no dark mode available life. So make sure you now tell them, hey, dark mode is here. So share this video with them. Also make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel in case you haven't already. And most importantly, check out the links down in the description down below so you can see my merch store, my courses, and of course, all the links to the various sponsors that I have for my channel, because without their support, these videos wouldn't be possible. So make sure you go try out their apps and give them some love. Anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. So fight, fight.